True fans live for their team. For those true U of A fans, there is Hughes Federal Credit Union. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union. Smart choice. Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. Greg, you had a great column today about ESPN's College Game Day. It comes to Tucson on Saturday before the 16th ranked Wildcats take on number nine UCLA. By our counting, this is the second time they've ever been to Tucson. They've only been to ASU once. Once. Surprising. 2005, uh, when USC was number one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I read today, Greg, that this is the first time they've ever done a game day that did not include a Pac-12 game day that did not include Oregon or USC. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. I looked up every game day, thanks to the magic of uh, the Internet. Right. I saw every game day ever pl played, uh -huh. and it's pretty interesting. ASU's Rose Bowl season in 1996, zip. They didn't go. They didn't even come past the Mississippi. Well, it's one of those things, too, Greg, and, and tell me if I'm wrong. But it seems to me like they favor the East Coast schools because that thing actually starts on time. It right. starts at 9 a.m. you got to be a pretty diehard fan to be on the McHale Center, McHale Center, the Arizona Mall lawn at 6 a.m. for the show on Saturday. They have numbers to back it up. Their lowest rated game day two years ago was the Oregon at Washington game in Seattle. I remember when that came on, it was dark. There's nobody there. And yeah, 1.6 million. That was their lowest in the last two years. Wow. And I think that from a strictly sort of planning standpoint, you want to have it someplace like Tucson if you're going to do it at 6 in the morning because you want something that's going to be clear and hopefully sunny right. when the sun comes up. It's in Los Angeles, in the Bay Area. I mean, it's haze and dark until 7 or 7.30. I can tell you this from experience. Yes from 6.15 a.m. tea times. <laughs> 6 a.m. now is a little sketchy in Tucson. Yeah. You can, you can play golf at 6, so the camera will work at 6. Right. But a week from now, 6 might be a little dark. It's funny, we both talked to U of A players the other day, and you know, some of them said that, yeah, you know, they're really excited they watch it every week. Uh, another player, who uh, shall remain nameless for the <laughs> sake of this interview, <laughs> you said college game day, he looked at you like you had two heads. Is, is it a generational thing, or is it just when you're a football player, maybe the last thing you want to watch is football at 7 in the morning? I think it's more for the 25 mm -hmm. to 50 crowd. I, I think college kids are sleeping it off. Mm -hmm. They don't get up and watch this first you know, minute of it. Right, right. Do you? No. <laughs> but you get enough between 7 and 9. Right, and there's enough going on at yeah. the end of the day. Uh, last question here, Greg. You know, Lee Corso is a guy who caps every college game day by putting on a head. Of a specific map of the team that he thinks is going to win, which head will he put on Saturday morning? Oh, he'll put on the UCLA head. Joe don't you Bruin? You'll put on the Joe. Is that Bruin? Joe Bruin? Joe that, Bruin. That's as creative as they can get. Yes. Joe. Joe. Oh, then I then I hope he puts on an Arizona. <laughs> on. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, you're right. The, real quick, in the name of uh, creatively nicknamed Pac-12 mascots, Oski's got to be number one. Oh, that's pretty good. The Stanford tree, basic but good. Yeah. And then Sparky's number three. Chip, number four. Chip? Chip's a great name. Chip who? Chip, they're walking around mascot of Colorado. His name is Chip. It is? Yes. I thought it was Ralphie. Well, Ralphie's the big buffalo. All right. All right, we're going to hash this out off camera here. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, it's Utah State's mascot? It's an egg. It's a bull. <laughs> What's his name, though? <laughs> Probably Bernard. <laughs> I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. True fans live for their team. They buy the gear, they order the tickets, they pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Use Federal Credit Union. Smart choice.